Yo, what is going on guys? This is Professor Loki. And in this video, I'm going to be, uh, well, let me talk about that actually. <laughs> so I have started something that I should have done a long time ago, honestly, but um, I'm going to be coaching. Now, I'm not a pro player. I'm not a master specialist of the game, but what I am a master of is Loki. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm, I'm going to be asking the community uh, which, in, which which means Loki players to send their videos of you know their Loki and conquest casual ranked doesn't matter to me so I may review it and coach it and then tell them what they did right and wrong now this video right here I've already done in my stream I either ha I've, uh, I've written everything that's like essentially the problem with this video um, but th that was little informal and also not professional um, I'm, I'm somewhat of an entertainer in the streaming, so I have to kind of exaggerate and be a little dramatic. But in this video, I'm going to be professional, I'm not going to show anything like completely stupid nonsense. And I'm going to, I'm not going to be skipping any parts of the video. Well, I'm, I'm going to be skipping a little bit, but I'm not going to be cutting out. Like, in other words, everything here is going to be live to you. It's not going to, I'm not going to cut any part of this video, but I will be skipping parts of the video just a little bit. Um... If you want to post a video of your Loki, feel free to join my Discord. And then all you got to do is, I can show you right now. If you just join my Discord here, uh, you just click on this tab. And all you got to do is read all the rules here. And uh, yeah, you should be uh, a-okay. Uh, and then post it in this coaching thing right here. So, that's that. Let's get on to this. Oh, and one more thing. Now, this is important. Listen to me. I'm currently reviewing a person called a Lonely Loki main, and I've asked for their permission to do this. Clearly, this is not my video, so I'm asking permission to, you know, stream their video. Or not stream, but you know what I mean. Um, and if you make fun of this, of this person, because of the mistakes they do, you are a bad human being, and I dislike you as a human being. Because first off... This person here is doing something that you're not, posting a video of their game and wanting to improve, right? Now, we can look at your videos and see how well you do, and we can make fun of you. And you wouldn't like that, unless you're a perfect Loki player. If you are, then I'm sorry, you're, you're superior than all of us. But essentially what I'm saying is don't be an a-hole and don't be a jerk. Uh, do not, if you see this person in your games, do not harass him, okay? Good. So this is a casual conquest game uh, on PS4. Now, let's skip ahead here. <clears throat> All right. So the first thing off, the first thing I did is I looked over here. I looked at it and it says recommended tab. This is a problem. This is the first thing I wrote and I said get a custom build. If you get a custom, oh my god, look at the recommended build. Boomba's mask, ninja tabi. Okay, okay. <laughs> I forgot how silly the recommended are. Um, get a custom build. A custom build is very important because it gives you everything that you need right then and there. You don't need to search. You don't need to look through anything. You have everything in one tab. With this, you have to look through certain items. For example, crit. You have to look where crit is and find it. And I know in console it's a little harder. So I really recommend if you're on console to make a custom build. And this is, oh, by the way, this is Loki Jungle. <laughs> Just, yeah. So by now, I would have already been at the speed buff. I'm just, it's gonna be that quick. Now, second problem. He, look at his potions, right? He got one health, one mana potion. You need to get at least one health and one mana potion. Uh, for actives, bees is okay uh, against a Fender, which makes sense because if Loki attacks, Fender just counterattacks with an ult and you're just dead. Uh, but other times, you want to see if uh, you know, if, if they don't have any, like, if they don't have a Hoonbats, they don't have a Fenrir, if they don't have anything that's, like, CC, that's too heavy CC-based, then you can get Blink and just focus on ganking and killing. Also, why is this, like, not a full screen? I'm, okay. I'm sorry. Forgot about that. Hope the, hope you guys can also hear the game. Um... So right now they're just waiting. Um, you have a ward, by the way. I recommend warding 
uh, in case of invades. Now, that doesn't really work because the point of invading is to draw your attention. And if you've warded and they walk through it, well, they got your attention. But it's better to know that they're coming than to not know at all and have and do your buff and then have a, a warrior just to steal it. So I recommend using your ward. Uh, now, this the video quality is a little bit bad. I know that. Um, but it's still... You know, you can still see through it, or you can still see what's happening. But on the map here, you should be warding around. Um, you should tell your mid laner and the jungler to ward uh, these two areas so you can see if anyone is coming. And also, look out here, if you see my mouse. Uh, sometimes the warrior can go right here in gank, so it's smart to look through here. Um, well, what you can do is you can have a one ward here, and a one ward like here or something. Just be smart about it. Let's skip a bit here. Now, here is the third mistake, uh, which is the jungle start. Um, first off, you need to start behind the camp, which means he needs to be where his cursor is, facing the opposite direction. And then at 17 seconds, 17.5, 18, hold the left mouse, or you can, you, you can time it between. Essentially, you want to hit the 1.5 times it's the one where he strikes two and does a bat and does like a front flip you want to have that as your first thing that hits the camp this will deal 130 ish damage to the camp rather than just the 48 so yeah this is a bad start fine now here's also another thing you use the decoy to cancel your animations so first thing you want to do is you don't want to just decoy you want to auto attack the big guy right until you do the little 1.5 times right and then instantly use your decoy to to reset your progression chain as fast as possible Also, this guy has a very bad habit of doing the small ones first rather than the big one. Which doesn't matter right now, but it matters later, and you'll see why. Again, he's just wasting backstabs. So, by decoying like that, you're wasting backstabs. Because you cannot backstab the creeps if without the decoy. He only got two or three backstabs off of that. Now this Isis isn't doesn't want the blue. So he finished here at 1.4, 1.5 seconds. I would have already been at the with the side camp here. Um now here's another mistake that he is doing. You don't want to do what he what this for no, don't do this. Go you gotta help the mid lane out and help clear uh, help him clear, because if not, he's gonna get out pressured and he's gonna lose his red. Uh so, not all the time, but because sometimes. And uh it just adds pressure. And you also get to do red, so. And something right here is, like, you don't want to do that. Clearly, now he told me that he is, um, as you can see, they're clan tags. Um, they are both, Isis and Loki are both in the same clan, so that means they were duo queuing, and this was just some kind of miss, miss, in other words, he said that this shouldn't have happened, so I'm, you know, I understand this. Now, here is the, I don't know how many mistakes, it's the fourth, fifth, sixth, I don't know, um, he's going, he's, he's getting hydras rather than boots. I'm actually seeing this kind of a lot now, people are starting with hydras Loki. First off, Loki with hydras is 27 extra damage on auto attacks but you're losing 18% movement speed. Now, the reason why we always build boots first is because of 18% movement speed. As a jungler, movement speed is very important so you can traverse through the jungle more efficiently and gank more efficiently. Also, having mobility in this game is extremely broken. There's a reason why we nerfed the, the ring tree with movement speed and the katana tree with movement speed because movement speed is, a, is one of the best stats in the game. If you move faster than people, you get to deal more damage to them because you're on them, you're sticking onto them, as well as you're harder to hit. And you get to your camps faster. Another thing he should have done here, uh, let me show you right here. He should have stealthed right here. Why? So he can move faster to that camp as well as apply the bleed. Yeah, 
Instead, he uses his bleed right now. So he's just doing it for the damage and not doing it for the movement speed. What he should have done is, if you didn't stealth here, if you, oh, sorry, I'm pointing. If you, if you didn't stealth here, he should have stealth now to deal the dot damage to the speed camp. Okay, so here's why you want to not focus the mini horses. Now, I know my ugly face and my bad hair is kind of blocking the way, but there's two mini horses right here, right? He is killing them first. You don't want to do that. So speed buff is changed. It only gives you 5% movement speed, an additional 5 um, per per jungle creep killed up to 3 stacks, which means you can get a total of 15% movement speed with the speed buff. So what you want to do is you want to focus the big one first, kill it, Pick the speed buff up and then kill the two small ones to gain a 15% movement speed immediately. But instead, he's only going to get 5% because he's, he's only going to get 5%. He's 375 movement speed, 394. That's that's 5%. That's nothing. So he has a very bad habit of going to the totem. The totem is a solo lane objective. Hyrez literally said that we're adding the totem for the soul lane to give them an objective. This is not a jungler objective. So stop, like, there's no reason to come over here. And then right here, this is a good gank. If he came for a gank, that's different. But he first came for the totem. <clears throat> By coming to the totem, you're not doing other things. That's a th if, if, Jungling is all about time. If you're doing something, that means you're not doing something else. If you're jungling, that means you're not ganking. If you're ganking, you're not jungling. There's always something. There's always a trade cost as a jungler. Again, he he is doing this rather than doing a side cam. I feel like a lot of low key players are just naturally drawn to the solo lane. Like it's just, it's so weird. Must be a Loki effect. Again, he needs to learn how to auto cancel with his decoy. So he can make use of more damage. It's okay if you take a little damage from the creeps because you have Assassin's Blessing. You heal right back up. Again, he should be stealthing. As soon as as soon as you walked onto this, so <coughs> excuse me. Because he has the totem effect, you gain uh, the totem gives you movement speed. I don't know how much. I think it's five percent movement speed. Um, but the totem gives you movement speed and mana region, right? So here's here's the thing: At the fact that I got mana region, I would have instantly stealth because that totem would have given me the seventy-five mana I lost, and also it would make me move faster and go towards the red buff faster, or the side camp, whatever. But obviously, the red red just spawns so. Again, you don't want to do this. Now, this has nothing to do with the speed buff. I'm talking about you want to always, now when it comes to buffs, right? You want to always focus the big one. Why? There's no wars. What, have, what if there was a Fenrir right here who just jumps a steal? What if a Kukulkan ults this red buff? You're telling me you would ever seen people ult for buffs? Yes, they do. They do it all the time. Or if you're smart, at least, they would do it. Because you're securing, you're securing a buff from the mid laner as well as gaining experience, and they're losing the experience. Or not losing, but that you're preventing them from getting the experience. So you always want to focus the big creep. The mini ones, who bloody cares? It's about the big one, because that's the one that gives you the most money. This thing gives you 38 experience, whereas the big one right here gives you 134 and a buff. Use all your damage items on the big one, not the small ones. Even do this for the, for the side camps here, because what if the... You never know when someone might just steal this from you. And you've, inv and you've invested all your abilities on confirming the small ones, or you've invested all your time confirming the small ones, that, the, that, that someone else just takes it. You always want to focus on the most valuable thing. So right now, what he should be doing, he should be vanishing, auto, then decoy and auto, the middle one. Because he's maxing his vanish, that would be the, the fastest way to clear the buff. But because, again, he's just focusing the small ones. So what if someone invades there and just takes it? You guys get the point. It's called securing your bus. You want to do the ones that are very important. So right now he is just clearing, clearing. He is ganking here. Doesn't matter. Um, 
He knows how to auto cancel, as you can just see. He goes one auto, three auto, two auto, and yep. Now he gets a kill here, perfectly fine. Now look at this. He okay. He's doing a buff. Never mind. I thought he was backing without doing the buff. He should be doing this, the side came, and then backing. And then go to the right side where the red buff is. So he's just doing the buff, he's backing. Um, he should have, again, done the side camp. Now look at this, he then finishes Hydra's. I already said this before, but movement speed is way better than Hydra's Lament. Especially when you have no power early on. An enemy has been slain. Hydra's is only good when you have, like, two items online. At least two items. So Boots, Hydra's good. Boots, Hydra's trans, wonderful. Hydra's on its own, bad. Just fighting here, doesn't matter. This is more focusing on, like, okay, he already proven that he can auto cancel, right? He already proven that he's leveling, like, he's leveling orders correct so far. He's also proven that, I mean, he's, he's doing fine Loki, mechanically speaking, but right now I'm judging how he is jungling. He, he's, y you'll see how, oh. Okay, that's fine. I, I wouldn't, well, I, I probably would have done it knowing me. And there's a hell that heals, but I, I don't like to trust my mid laners because they have to earn it. Um, now, there is one point in this video where he neglected to do a speed buff for four minutes, and that's what drove me nuts. Insane. That's he's losing two speed buffs basically, um, and it's just not good. I get boots here. What level is he? Eight. Doing a camp. He's ganking. He should have decoyed there to block her. And don't ever do that. Ever, 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 ever. Don't assume that your autos will just kill him. Loki autos got nerfed. Even even if it didn't get nerfed, don't assume that it'll kill them. Wait until it says you have slain an enemy, then do that. Because if that Jing Wei was if this was late game, she could have just killed Loki instantly. Um it's about precedent. It's about setting yourself up, right? Right now, but, oh, but it's level seven. Who cares if you know he he mess you know delayed it, 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 delayed the kill? It's the precedent that sets. It's meaning you should equally what happened here. Oh, okay. You should equally do the same thing for all situations. Um. Okay. Now he acts. I yeah, he upgraded his decoy here, but I think that's an accident. So I'm not gonna count that as a mistake because he only does it once. I do that too sometimes. Actually, very rarely, but yeah. Now, this is the part where I didn't really critique before, but I'm gonna see what he upgrades here. He up Okay, so this is correct. So he's maxing out his three, not his ultimate. Your ultimate does, if you max your ultimate, whenever at level, like level uh, 9, 13, 14, 17, um, you are increasing your single target damage, but you're not increasing your general damage. And as a Loki jungler, your goal is to attack everyone everywhere which means that you should be maxing your one and three it also means that let's say your ult is down you will deal less damage because you're upgrading your ultimate right so if you use your ultimate you will have less damage which makes you kind of useless you're more dependent on your ultimate to deal more damage and that's not good the general rule of thumb if you're in if you're playing duels as loki right if you're playing loki duels max your ultimate sure because you're always going to be using your ultimate for one person and as you can just see, he killed him even if he didn't, even though he didn't upgrade his ultimate, because it's not necessary. And now that his ultimate is down, he upgraded his aim strike so it deals more damage. So now he is still somewhat useful even though his ultimate is down, because he's not upgrading it. This strategy is applied to a lot of gods, like Scylla. You don't upgrade Scylla's ultimate. You max your two and max your one because that is way more. You, that you use that way more often, and it's, you know, your ultimate's kind of hard to use, as, it's hard to secure with ult, Scylla ult, and the base scaling is so high, you don't need to upgrade Scylla ult, as well as Loki's ultimate, the scaling for Loki's ultimate is 120%, I hope that's right, 120, um, and therefore it's not necessary to upgrade it. I might be confusing with Susano's, Susano's ultimate is 140, right? So I think... Yeah, Loki's 120. I hope I'm not 
incorrect about that. So much for a Loki player if I don't know the scalings and all my abilities. Okay, right now he should be doing something else. Watching the enemy is pointless. Like, what is he doing? Just, why are you watching the enemy? You have a map. You don't need to look. I don't know what he's doing right now. I have no idea what he's doing right now. He was, I think he was trying to hide from Mulan so he can push the wave while giving up the blue. When he could have done the blue by now. I would have checked the enemy's blue and see if it's up. Because it should be up. Unless it was taken by the jungler. But the jungler is in mid lane, so it has to be up. Right? I'm not crazy. Please check it. Oh, he didn't check it. Nope. Really bad jungling. Very, very bad. I don't know why you just stealth. You should have decoyed it and then went back and do this then do the mid camp, the side camp. Farming. Like he just look the problem with him, he's just going past all the farm. He's not farming. And again, he's focusing the side camps again. Not good, not good, not good. And he's gonna jink the gank. He's gonna jink the jink. I just said I was gonna jink the gank way. <laughs> he's gonna gank the jink way. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Could I, I, you know, I wouldn't have ulted. Um, right, he didn't need to ult here. He missed, but he still had aim strike, and he could have just walked up. And because it's a level 12 Jingwei, she's not gonna be able to kill you. He had more than enough health. Just walk up to her and just auto her. But of course, it's there's nothing wrong with being, you know, careful. So it's a kill's a kill. Your abilities comes up. Who cares? Um, let's see. Here. Fine. He's poking. And because he's maxing his 1 and 3, he did more damage to go Kulkin. See how that works? If he was if he was maxing his ultimate, his aim strike would be a lot weaker. Also, it comes up, you know, if you upgrade your 3, it comes up sooner. So that's also a plus. By the way, pay attention to his speed buff. His speed buff is... This is the part where he's neglecting his speed buff for like 4 minutes. I think, wait, let me see where it spawns. It spawned at 12 minutes. And he's at the left side. He is... He should have autoed that. He, he should have... Wait, 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 look at this. He should have autoed that. Not the Mulan. Now he does actually get the kill here. I still would have, I still would have all of that because I think I would have been able to kill Mulan even without. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's see here. No, maybe this, maybe this was the better call. Yeah. Okay. No, this was the better call than doing the blue. Never mind. He should have. Yeah, he focused the Mulan. That's fine. He lost the blue, but he also. He just gained like 300 experience, 200 experience. He gained 440 experience and 220 gold. That's that's worth it. Never mind. This is fine. Uh, next item is trance. I don't do that, but that's fine. In fact, I'm making a video on how or of the Loki jungle build soon. That's going to be actually the next video. Um, how to do Loki jungle and I'll be Loki jungle build and I'll be explaining why. I haven't done it for a while because I want to make sure that everything is good um, and that everything works. Like he just used his abilities in the side camp, has nothing to do to secure this. Um, let's see what it does. He, he, uh, he ult in first. So you never want to ult in as Loki, but this is okay because Kokokan has no escapes. And he, do, he, excuse me, and he was using his two. As you can tell, he's slithering right now. This is perfectly fine. You never want to ult in on a target who has a mobility or some form of escape. Never want to do that. Kokokin is fine because Kokokin has a choice to either like use his two right when you ult him, or use his. Well, I'd be careful. I wouldn't just. I would ult only knowing they can't escape. And he ulted Kokokin while he was using his two, so that canceled his two when he stunned him, or it, it ran out, or whatever. Okay, um, 
he's kind of just playing arena right now. That's another problem. Like, he should be focusing the Gold Fury, not the Fafnir. Um, Fafnir has no threat. It's the Gold Fury, then the Fafnir. But everything is working out for him perfectly. That's why it's not, you know, he's not realizing the mistakes because it, it hasn't backfired yet. Maybe if it does backfire at him, he still wouldn't understand. See, again, he stays, his speed is still up, by the way. He is playing Arena. Um, this is another problem. If you if you ever wonder, right? Yeah, I hear people sell this all the time. Oh, but Loki, I went 22 and 5 and I still lose. I wonder why. Maybe because you've been playing Arena so much, you forgot that there's a thing called objectives. But that's just, uh, that's just me, right? Complaining. Um... Again, free XP at the side cam. I don't understand. He's not he, he's not jungling. Again, he is not jungling. He is just killing people. And if the enemy team was half decent, they wouldn't allow Loki to run around and just kill people. Use your decoy. Okay, so if you use your decoy, it taunts the Pyromancer. Which means the Pyromancer no longer attacks the, your teammates, but attacks the decoy. And the decoy deals more damage. Oh, now he uses it. Okay. He should have used it a lot sooner. Mulan comes. Oh. If Mulan was any faster, they could, she could have stolen that camp because he didn't use the decoy in time. Man, PS4 recordings are just awful. Bye bye. Why am I so good at the game? Next item he gets Malice. This is fine. He now has 30% cooldown. Really good. <clears throat> so he confronted Jing Wei. Oh, that's so bad. Don't do that. That's bad reaction timing. So. If you see a Jing Wei escaping, I don't know why you would vanish and try to hit the bleed on him. I would just vanish to the person. Like, he wouldn't need to use his ultimate. Well, actually, he would have, because she would have jumped out that. But still, I'm talking about in general sense. Don't just, don't do that. If you know someone's escaping, just use your vanish to chase them and then apply the bleed. Don't try to, like, apply it quickly, because you may just miss. And what if your ult what if his ultimate was down there? Like, you couldn't kill the Jing Wei then. He, 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 like, it's funny, he's farming when his team needs him the most. Um, and he is killing people when he needs to be farming. You know, it, it's, it's a little inconsistent. Again, he's just killing a... Like, he's level 14. At this point, experience buffs gives more... <laughs> a minion wave gives more experience than killing a level 14 Kukulkan. He's very cocky. I mean, this is just like me, too. I get cocky, too. But. And you just gave shut that gold. Probably a thousand gold, thousand experience to Fender. Whoever killed him. Let's get him back when he spawns. Here we go. Now, this item he's getting is a heart seeker. Sport alert. It's heart seeker. Very bad. I'll explain to you right now why you should never get crit in heart seeker. Crit is enha crit enhances your auto attacks. Heart Seeker enhances your abilities. Right now, if my auto attacks kills the enemy, why are you getting Heart Seeker? It doesn't make any sense. Right? If if you you focus on one, you don't get both. You don't go hybrid. You either go either auto based or ability based. That's how that works. It's like uh, I try to use the example of you know getting Times Bane Executioner. Yes, on paper you're getting more penetration, but it's not efficient. Yes, getting Heart Seeker and Crit is more damage. If you don't crit, if you do crit, it's you're gonna get more damage either way. But the bottom line is, is that you don't want to get Heart Seeker because Heart Seeker applies to your abilities. And what kills enemies with crit is auto attacks, not abilities. And also because you're building crit, you're not building power and pen, which amplifies your abilities. So getting Heart Seeker on a already weak abilities is not going to make it any better. So you have to choose either pen or crit. If you see people are building spectral armor, you switch to pen immediately. That's how that works. But because people don't buy that garbage item ever, 
Um, you don't really have to worry about that, which is why crit is so awesome right now. But I, I think that as time goes on, people are going to realize how, how strong Spectral Armor is. It's, I mean, it's just 50% less critical damage. You'll still be dealing 75 or uh, 80. Yeah, you'll deal 80% more damage. If I'm, if that's correct. It's 50 because, so crit is 100 times. Minus 50 is 50, and then Deathbringer is 30, so that's, you know, 80% bonus damage. So it went from 130 to 80%, essentially. Um, which is big. But still, like, not as bad. You still will, you still will create, so late game Loki Autos is like 540, something like that. With Spectre Armor, I think it'll be around 300-ish. It won't be enough to 100 and 0 with just 3 auto attacks, but if you use your ultimate as well, it should be enough anyways. He should have auto cancelled there. If he didn't crit that last auto, on, uh, he probably wouldn't have killed him. But, uh, maybe he would have. Maybe not. I couldn't see the health bar because the whole, you know, splat damage of the set of passes. And a level 14 Fafnir. Ouch. So this Fafnir decides to backpedal. Alright, let's um let's move forward until he's alive. He gets hard seeker again, not a good choice. He's just doing Loki late game things. Just killing people. That's all he's doing. Uh, he hasn't hit any objectives. He just <laughs> he's just the only thing he killed was Pyromancer. <laughs> He didn't do any, you know, no fire giant, no gold fear. He didn't do anything. He's just killing people. The amount of times he's critting with 25% is kind of nuts. He's so lucky. Um, Tyne's dead. Okay, so it actually shows here his stats. I want to pause it at the stats. It doesn't. Okay. So, one of the rules for my video is that you have to show the end game screen so I can see the statistics. Like, the total damage you've done and the amount of wards you've placed. Like, I don't want to keep track of that while watching the game. Um, but actually, I think he didn't place any wards. Yeah, he he, he has not placed a sink. He, he placed um, uh, the free ward, but he has not bought any wards. He didn't buy any wards. Um, very bad. The rule of thumb is every time you back get one to two wards i get two always um every time i back it's 100 gold if you if you're a greedy pig one ward at least if you are, well hold on Be, un, okay so if level one through 12 get one ward only because if you get two wards you can't because your the free ward doesn't stack with the ward so you can only place two wards at a time okay and the free ward is a normal ward but with a few exceptions, as in you don't get the gold if you destroy it. Um, but yeah, so bottom line is simplified version. Level one through twelve get one ward. Level third, level twelve to twenty get two wards. Um, and uh, yeah, so all in all, all in all, what my paper says is you they, he needs to practice his jungling. But in terms of his Loki. He needs to stop playing Arena as Loki, which is a personal kind of problem. It has nothing to do with the character, but if we're talking about specifically his character mechanics, he's he's fine. He's ulting when he needs to ult. He's auto canceling properly. He's doing it very fast too. Um, not as fast. I mean, it's console, but he's doing it relatively very uh, fast. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not it's not hard. The coaching, the purpose of the coaching is I have it on my Discord here. Uh, and it's a subject to change if it needs to be. Um, I'll be judging your Loki's ability based on mechanical skill, leveling order, item choice, positioning, play style, Loki knowledge, and decision making. Um, about really, in terms of decision making, pretty poor. Loki knowledge, uh, it's, 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 it's good. It's on the good side. Play style, very bad. He's playing arena. Uh, positioning, kind of bad too. As you can see, he kind of died at the Phoenix by himself, trying to 1v4. Um... Mechanical skill, pretty good. Leveling order, really good. Um, item choice, pretty bad. He went Heartseeker. 
That's just no. He should he should have went rage. The amount of kills he was getting, he should have built. He would have had rage stacked by now if he just like. Um, actually, no, he wouldn't because if he no no it, it, rage is cheaper. He I I think he would have. How much gold did he have when he backed? Oh, uh, rage is twenty three hundred. So maybe no, he wouldn't have. He would have had it four stacks. So. But you guys get the point. You would have you would have stacks on it, because if he he probably would have sold the size of a thing for rage and then boots for deathbringer or something like that, um, which is also bad because then you have no pen besides heartseeker, which is just fifteen. And if you just get deathbringer and no rage, you only have fifty percent crit chance, and that's just not good. <coughs> the, 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 the the problem with crit on Loki is that is the RNG factor. Um, to mitigate it, you get. You copy, you know, you get Rage, you get Malice, and Deathbringer, 95% crit chance. You'll always crit, unless you play this game. 5% crit chance is 100%. 100% crit chance is 5 is, is negative percent. That's not even a thing, but that's how bad it is on the Lux factor. Um, so, yeah, again, I will be doing these types of videos. I really hope you enjoy these types of videos. And if you want me to review your videos, you would have to just, again, I'll post my Discord in the description as well as in the comments. Join it. Um, look at the look at the how to apply coaching tab. Read the rules. It should answer all your questions. If you have any other questions, let me know. But please read the rules first. And then you want to go into the coaching tab. And then you just, you just you know, post your video. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. I hope you guys, I hope this was educational. That's the point of these things. I'm not here to, you know, look down on you filthy Loki players. I'm here to, you know, show you that what you can improve on. And what this person could have improved on was a lot of things. Um, jungling, uh, decision making, building, um, and uh, play style. Like, playing arena all game is not the way to go, especially in... Um, higher level conquest uh, so yeah i don't discriminate you can be bronze you can be masters grand if you i would love to see grandmaster plays but i don't think that's necessary though i think you would always know what you're doing but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any comments questions or concerns please post it down below and i'm gonna see you guys all loki and non-loki players next time